happy Sabbath day. Good morning, church. It's a pleasure and honor to be here to give out health nuggets. And um, I'll start by introducing myself. I'm Sarah Konzi. I'm a physiotherapist by prof profession and a specialist in orthopedic manual therapy. And uh, I'm a author of a book written back to back basics, how to treat back pain naturally. Today, I'm going to talk about my profession, uh, physiotherapy. Uh, what is physiotherapy? Have you ever heard about physiotherapy? I know most of us have even uh, had one-on-one -on -one with physiotherapists. Others, we have just heard about the name, and maybe others, we don't know even how to pronounce the word physiotherapy. But today we are going to learn, despite of our status, uh, what is physiotherapy, and when you hear about physiotherapy, what it entails. Physiotherapy is a branch of health care that focuses on treating conditions related to the movement and functions of the muscles and joints. We treat, uh, all, uh, we treat physiotherapy using uh, different techniques which are manual therapy, uh, manipulations, therapeutic uh, massage and therapeutic exercises. We do patient's educations and we use physical agents uh, by using some machines like tens, laser, hot packs, cold packs, massages, etc. Uh, all these we use our hands, 60% uh, we use our hands, 20% we use the therapeutic exercises, 10% we use massage, and another 10% we use machines to bring treatment to our bodies, especially our muscles and joints. From the above combinations of treatment, our clients recover from injuries and can manage chronic pain and improve their overall physical health. Physiotherapy can also help prevent future injuries by improving physical function. You can reduce risk of injury and improve your overall quality of life through therapeutic massage and therapeutic exercises. Uh, I know most of the time we ask ourselves uh, which condition I have can I see a physiotherapist. These are some of the conditions which are listed uh, which a physiotherapist will help you with low back pain, neck pain, upper back pain, sciatica, arthritis, shoulder pain, headaches, knee pain, hip pain, foot pain, any stroke rehabilitation, post-surgery rehabilitation like after total knee replacement or total hip replacement, women health especially when they have complications with things like incontinence or during pregnancy, we do some lames. Men's health, uh, especially when they have some dysfunctions with their reproductive system. We also deal with sports-related injuries like uh, when you hurt your ligaments, like um, there are so many ligaments, I don't want to go inside. And post fractures rehabilitation, like in case someone gets a fracture, after the six weeks which God has given a bone to heal, physiotherapy comes in. And we say uh, we also add life to days. They say medications add days to life, but physiotherapy we add life to the days. Uh, those are some of the conditions we work with. The other thing I wish to discuss is about the benefits of our physiotherapy or benefits of having physiotherapy. Uh, one is pain management. Physiotherapy techniques can help reduce pain and discomfort caused by injuries, chronic conditions such as arthritis and other musculoskeletal problems uh, like the ones I've just talked above, uh, disc uh, bulge, uh, disc herniations, uh, things with uh, affecting our nerves and so on. Uh, physiotherapy, it, it helps in prevention of injury. How do we prevent injury? By, through education of 
the way we do our daily activities, like ergonomics, the way you are sitting, even when in church, how you should sit. We train you or we teach you how you should sit. We also teach you how you should stand or how you should sleep. And through this, it brings preventions of injuries. Physiotherapy can help reduce your risk of future injuries. Physiotherapy um, also has this benefit of uh, improving mobility. Like when you have a joint which is stiff, let's say your knee is stiff, you can't bend it to maximum, or your elbow, you can't bend it to maximum. Physiotherapy comes in and helps to uh, improve the ability to move that joint and also to function the right way. This is especially important for people who have suffered from injuries or illness that have limited their mobility, especially fractures or after surgeries. Physiotherapy uh, also helps in, uh, in better overall health. Physiotherapy can help improve your overall health and well-being. It can help you manage chronic conditions such as diabetes, like we have special exercises which help people with diabetics, and heart diseases where we do cardio rehabilitation by giving specific um, uh, exercises like after the COVID-19, you find people who experience such issues. They say they feel tired or they can't uh, walk for long or go in uh, a stiff place. They feel like they are, they are losing their breath. That's where a physiotherapy will come in and teach you how to do some exercises to help your heart and lungs to perform the right way. And, uh, and this can help uh, overall health and maintain, also maintaining your healthy, uh, healthy weight. We teach you how, which exercise to do and which specific muscles to work on and also uh, give suggestions and, uh, on diet. Uh, physiotherapy helps in mental health. Uh, how? Uh, when you have pain most of the time, we are stressed or we are depressed because of the issue. So once we help you, you find yourself, you can manage the chronic issues like pain goes down, it helps your mental health. Uh, in medicine, they say most people don't die because of the issue they are having, but they die because of the stress or depression which comes with them, those issues. So in, in physiotherapy, as we help you to walk through some of chronic conditions, uh, we improve mental health. Uh, I would wish to talk about some myths. I know some of, uh, most of us we know about physiotherapy, or it's the first time we are hearing about it. As I stand, some people, if I ask them what is physiotherapy, they'll say it's a modernized massage. And I would wish to say just that's a myth. I'm a physiotherapist by profession. I've been to Kenya Medical Training College. I've been to AMREF International University, and I've been to Jackson's Clinic in USA just to study physiotherapy. So we go to medical school and we learn how to treat your body without using medications, without using injection or surgeries, just physically using our hands. So when you think about physiotherapy, don't just think about massage, it involves so many things. And we are medical people who have been told how to assess, uh, diagnose, treat and discharge. You can visit a physiotherapy without a referral from a physician. I know most of the time when we think about physiotherapy, we are like, I have to visit my doctor so that I can come to, uh, to my physiotherapist. But that's a myth. I would wish to tell you that you can go to a physiotherapist direct because they are learned people. They have been to medical school and um, uh, they know how to assess, the, uh, diagnose, and treat and discharge. They know uh, red flags, yellow flags, and all that. When you find a good physiotherapist and you start working with them to create a personalized treatment, you can start reaping the benefits of physiotherapy. Thank you so much for listening to me, and I believe you have gotten something. You can find us at Equity Hafia or at our other office at Bayswater Court along Mombasa Road. Thank you. God bless you, and let's keep enjoying the day.